Hi guys, it's Yvette. I'm gonna show you what I got today on my thrifting adventures. I work full time, but I also do eBay and I love it. And I do pretty good. And I'm gonna show you some of the things that I pick up along the way, and I'm gonna show you what they sell for. And as we go along in these videos, I'm gonna show you how to research stuff quickly, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what I found today. And here is the first things. And pardon my parents, I've been out in 100 degree Dallas heat, so I'm in my pajamas now. <laughs> so first off, I got this West Coast t-shirt. Um, I got it for a dollar. I'm thinking it'll sell for like 20 to 25 from what I looked quickly at yard sales, but I do have to do some more research. I found this limited edition sack purse, and it's truly a limited edition. It's number 738 out of 800. I paid five for this. And looking quickly, some of these were selling for like $90. For a dollar, I got this measuring cup and this pottery cat mug. And this measuring cup is by Pioneer Woman and that stuff sells pretty well. So I took a chance for a dollar and people love their cats. Then I found this bird and he talks, uh, let's see if we can get him turned on here. Pardon my mess, I just got home so everything is crazy. Let's see, there he goes. And you can Hello. program, hey! Um, and he comes with his remote and his books. And I looked him up quickly and just the remote can sell for $90. You look like you're in shock with that. <laughs> and um, here comes my dog, cause he loves stuffed animals. And if this thing talks, he's gonna go crazy. So um, complete, I'm hoping to get about $140. I could piece it out. Huh? <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn him back off because he's too cute and he's going to freak my dog out if he keeps talking. And I don't want his batteries to go dead. Oh, there we go. Okay. Then I got these drip candles. I got to look these up. Um, these are for my personal use. They're so cute. I have a Texas theme going in my house and these were handmade by somebody 25 cents each oatmeal raisin cookies natural soy 75 cents investment and i love this pen i got that for myself 25 cents thought it was so cute and i love halloween i gotta look this guy up he might be worth something i gotta do some research um, but i paid 50 cents now this little lady I did a quick search and I gotta do some more research, but I think these figures sell for like 200. And for my whole lot at this yard sale, I paid $11. I got this there too, $4. And I thought it's really cool, it's signed by somebody. So I'm gonna investigate that. And now my jewelry. I got, I got more stuff here I haven't packed. Um, this is really cool. I paid $5 for this needlepoint of a Indian chief. Needlepoints can do good. And I found this calendar. Whoops, she's upside down. And this is selling for about 30 and I paid a dollar. And um, I gotta look up this stocking. I got it for a dollar and it's by somebody. Um, Christmas stuff can do really good and you have to look everybody up, so. And then I got myself a pumpkin and some other ornaments I'm gonna look up, but I'm not gonna bother you with all that. So here's my big stuff. I paid at this yard sale for all this jewelry, this and this, $11. This is sterling. This sucker is so heavy. Um, I gotta do some research on that. And I told them it was sterling and they said, no, it's not. I'm like, okay. I said, do you wanna ask more? These are definitely sterling, and they said they knew they were sterling. I got these for a dollar each. This is a beautiful mother of pearl, no, abalone shell, abalone shell, sterling pendant. Um, and then this is a Kendra Scott ring, and this is a Kendra Scott bracelet. Those do good in Texas. This, I think, is Whiting and Davis. I've got to look it up. I see some writing in there, but I just don't have time right now to do that. But I like the Art Nouveau look of that. Uh, and look, I paid 11 for everything. These are Cloisonne little bangles. And um, this is Sterling, this chain. Marked right there. And I love these. They're like some vintage uh, enamel 
bracelets and I love the buckle one. I'm gonna sell those together as a lot. And um, this ring I think is sterling also with more abalone shell. Gotta look that up, find a mark in it. And this one is Monet, which there are avid Monet people out there as well. So I did really, just this alone, I'm excited. Oh, then this is a vintage, uh, possibly Juliana. And um, it's green, uh, Aurora Borealis stones, vintage, a little bit of uh, wear on the buckle there, but still a pretty piece considering I paid $11 for everything. And this I think is hollow sterling. I have to do some research. It's, I haven't really found the mark, but that's indicative of a vintage piece and is often sterling. That type of closure is old. Um, so I'm gonna list all this stuff and then I'm gonna get back to you guys and let you know what I made on my approximate. Now, when you see this $60, it was 75% off when I went. So I paid $15 for this bird. And um, uh, this purse, I already told you five and the jewelry was all in one lot. So we're gonna say my investment was approximately $50 today. And I also got some cleaning supplies for myself <laughs> and that head back there so I can take photos. And um, this candle back here, I like pink candles um, from Crate and Barrel. So some of the stuff was for myself. I save everything. I'm saving these bags for when I ship. There's some tax, gonna save those, paper clips, save everything, save everything. I can use it, I can use it. It's money I don't have to spend. Oh, and I gotta look this little witch up too. I don't know, she just looks cute to me. She's two bucks. All right guys, I'll get back to you and let you know how I do. Thanks for watching my video. Um, if you find the way I do things informative, I'm gonna do a lot of education, please follow me. I would really appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend.